Welcome to another Goodie Beater video tutorial. My name is Michael. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks on your Kobo Aura H2O. So, the CD Reader comes out October the 1st, and if you want to know how to load in your own ebooks, you've come to the right place. I'm going to teach you how to use a few programs here uh, Caliber, Adobe Digital Editions, and uh, good old Windows Explorer. So, I have Calibre installed on my computer here. I'm going to load it up. It's a free download. And uh, this is the interface here. My Kobo H2O is plugged into my computer, but Calibre at this time does not recognize it. By the time it's released, it should, but if it doesn't, doesn't what you want to do here is click on connect and share and connect up to a folder. And as you see here, I have a number of drives, including my Kobo e-reader, and I've plugged this into my computer via the USB cable that came with it. So I'm going to create a new folder here, just called ebooks. That way, when I'm looking at the folder here, when I plug it on my computer, I kind of know, okay, all my ebooks are in this directory. And I'm going to select the folder. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is add a book. And I have three books here. So here's uh, The Walking Dead, The Road to Woodbury. As you can see, we do see a preview of the cover art. So this is how it would appear on your e-reader. And these are some of the tags that are with it. One of the cool things about Calibre is when you add a book to your stage here, you can right click and click Edit Metadata and then Edit Metadata individually. And you can see here a lot of cool stuff. I could actually change the title if I wanted to. So instead of having The Walking Dead, I could just simply have the name of the book. I click that and the title sorts there. So if I, when I'm searching in a book, I can search for Road to Woodbury or it'd be under the. And same with the author. So I could delete the second author and just have the first. So I could search by author rather easily on my Kobo Aura. So once I like these changes here, I can click OK. And then I could right click again and click Save the Disk. And I could uh, establish like a directory here. Now, looking at this folder that I've created on my desktop now, the book's here. So say I edit the book and I, I've made a few changes like I've showed you, or you just think that the book that you're adding, there's no problems with it, there's no reason really why you should uh, edit it or anything like that, you could simply send it to your device. So I've clicked on send to device and now it's copied it there. And I could verify that by going to my Kobo e-reader here, clicking on my ebooks directory, and here's the book that I just copied with Caliber. Caliber allows a lot of flexibility and freedom. As you can see, I've only added one book here to the stage, but I could simply add as many books as I want. The next program is Adobe Digital Editions. This program is useful if you buy ebooks from other stores or you have uh, downloaded ebooks like from the public library and you want to add them to your device. So when your Kobo device is plugged in and you have Adobe Digital Editions installed, it'll say device Kobo e-reader. As you can see here, these are some of the books that are on my device. So I'm going to add a title to my library. Here's the book that I just added. So you can see here, I'm clicking here, and it's not on my Kobo e-reader, but it's on my bookshelf. How do you add it to your e-reader? Well, it's simple. You just left click so you can drag the book around. You can see here, I can't drop it there, but I could drop it on my Kobo. Now you can see this book is added to my Kobo. And with Adobe Digital Editions, you can actually manage any books that you either buy 
or you load on your e-reader yourself, whether you used Adobe Digital Editions, Caliber, or what have you. So this was a book that came preloaded on it, and we can simply remove it. So this has actually physically removed that book from your e-reader. So let's say that you download a lot of samples and you want to, you know, say you download like 10 and you don't want to go and delete them one by one from your Kobo. You can actually fire this program up and delete as many as you want. You can either delete them. I could delete all of them if I wanted to by just highlighting them and clicking remove from library. Uh, lastly, this is Windows Explorer. It's a fairly commonly used program. This is really where you could copy books rate your device. You can see we have a number of books in the root of our device, but if you wanted to be a stickler for organization, you can just make a directory called ebooks. So we have another book here on our desktop. We're simply just going to click copy. And then we're going to go to Windows Explorer. And we're just going to copy it to the ebook directory and just click paste. Now when I unplug my Kobo or H2O from my computer, it'll say syncing and it'll sync all the new data that we've copied to our e-reader, e.g. these three e-books. So let me know if you have any questions or concerns or ideas for future videos with the Kobo or H2O uh, for goodyreader.com. My name is Michael and everybody take care.